Now at 6.30, you can't throw a rock in San Francisco without hitting a moving truck, and most of them are headed out. According to Zillow, inventory in the city, there in orange, has soared by 96% year over year. Of course, it's always tight, so that percentage may not actually account for a huge number of homes, but still, compare that to the other big cities on either side. We saw plenty of people loading up moving vans this morning. So we sent KPXY's Wilson Walker to ask them where they're going and why. I think this is something you could feel happening in San Francisco for a little while. Well, now it is hard to turn a corner and not see it right in front of you. Honestly, I started being a software engineer. I got into computers just because it's convenient being able to work remote. And now that like everybody's working remote and policies aren't like cemented, at least till next year, no reason to stay here when I could go back to family and work remote there. A tech worker with a job but no office, which means yet another set of boxes and a truck. San Francisco is now crawling with moving vans for everyone, a different story and destination. Can I ask where you're going? Uh, I'm going back to my family in Ohio. For us, it's really just been about the kids. I mean, it sounds really sexy and cool to go to Hawaii, and I'm not saying that's bad, but we love the city as well. But it's basically just to get the kids in, in school face to face. And for the first time in my career, I'm virtual. Well, the reason is that a lot of things uh, which um, drew us to San Francisco, uh, we want to be close to the Symphony and Opera here, we want to be close to Hayes Valley, uh, all the small businesses. And it's basically it's nothing, nothing is there anymore. Everything is closed. Of course, not every departure is voluntary. Yeah, a lot of people really don't want to leave, but people are losing their jobs. Ali Phelps has been moving people in and out of San Francisco for about 20 years. Has he ever seen anything like this? No, not really this big boom of people just move, moving all at once. A lot of people are hitting the highway, getting out of town, but you know our jobs are here, and more importantly, our lives are here. Don't let every van fool you. Paul and Ashley were also moving today from the mission to Bernal Heights. So rents took a, a dive here in San Francisco, so uh, with everyone working from home, uh, we had to we had to upgrade from studio to a one bedroom. So we're taking advantage of the rent here. But no matter where the van was headed, everyone we talked to knew they were part of a larger move that can now be seen across San Francisco. I feel like I'm catching either like the head end or the tail end of an exodus. Who knows? <laughs> yes, but I think it's kind of temporary, is my guess. I mean, depending on you know what happens with vaccines and treatments and. I mean, this is a city that is rebirth and rebirth and rebirth, and it always thrives, and I think it'll thrive again. And no one is hoping for a faster rebirth than those who are staying. Because, yeah, we call San Francisco home, and we just really hope that things get better, and we want to be a part of that. So not every moving van necessarily a departure, but just drive around, and you will see it. Tremendous changes underway in the city again in San Francisco. Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.